Well, I want to give uh, a lot of credit, obviously, to Auburn, uh, their team. The coach had their team ready. They have a fine football team. They were physical. They out physicalists on both sides of the ball. Um, they outplayed us. They outcoached me. He outcoached me. Um, and he had his team ready, and obviously I didn't have ours. And uh, I'm looking back. I'm sitting in there trying to figure out what we could have, might have done differently uh, during the week um, because we, we certainly have to figure it out. Now, listen, we didn't get beat by a bad football team. I'm not saying that at all. I mean, they're a good football team, but we got to figure out how we can get better, and, and, uh, and we will. With that, I'll answer, be happy to ask, answer your questions. And Sam, uh, it seems like your fans got frustrated with a lot of things that happened in the game. But I'm wondering, they went to the replay on the fumble that would have been down on the yeah. 15 or whatever. Did they tell you that the whistle had blown? But because no, you the replay, it was said that that uh, he they had picked the ball carrier up and and uh, that meant that the ball now was not going what couldn't be a fumble. You know, so I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Last week, I thought Rocket was stopped whenever whenever they pulled the ball out of there, but maybe not. I don't know. And then there was a pass interference call yeah. going that direction that seemed like it was completely uncatchable. I, just your yeah. thoughts about maybe not catching any breaks like today? Well, you know, it's, it's bad because – you know, we had such a big start to the season, and now we've lost three in a row, and that's on the head football coach. And I, I, I got to figure out why. Uh, I think I've got reasons why. Um, but yeah, it gets frustrating. You know, you'd like to catch a break here and there, but um, I don't know. Yeah, it gets frustrating. How big a momentum swing was that when um, the punt hit the ground and, and bounced back towards the end zone and gave up a couple sacks and a touchdown on the defense? Well, um, Perotti said he lost the ball. Um, you know, the sun was in his eye and he said he lost the ball. And Perotti, not going to lie, he lost the ball. Uh, you know, at that point, I believe he was up three, you know, and um, – we couldn't get out of there. We were trying to be fairly conservative on that play. I mean, obviously, we could have uh, turned around and handed the ball off and tried to get, you know, a few yards and then punt out of there. Um, I felt like at that point we still had some decent momentum because we just stopped them, and then that was basically the you – know, that, that was kind of the final straw, not, not really, but kind of, of you know, Given up those seven because our defense had been playing pretty well to, to that you know to that point in the second half and even late in the first, in the in the second quarter, and then to give that it, it kind of took the sails out of the window of our sails seemed like. A couple other opportunities also on fourth down where you guys weren't able to convert. Yeah, you know, it seemed like we were around that thirty yard line a lot today, thirty thirty five somewhere in there is. You know, I tried one, missed it, and then uh, went for it on fourth and one much, fourth and maybe less than a yard, didn't make it. Went for it on fourth and four, going the other direction. Uh, we didn't make it. Uh, just seemed like uh, everything I was calling or, or chance I was taking, you know, I'd try to kick it, didn't make it, try to go for it, didn't make it. Uh, just seemed like it wasn't wasn't going going our way today, and some of those, and uh, you know, they reviewed the one with Rocket, you know, the short one, and I guess fe figured out that you know they is a chain length, you know, and no difference there. And then uh, we didn't pitch a ball on on the fourth and four, um, so I don't know. As far as defense, did you feel you, you look like the four-man front? Y'all kind of stopped the running game, or at least did a, did a pretty good job on it. Was, was what, how they passed? Was that kind of a surprise or the effectiveness? No, I mean, um, we knew we knew going the game 
that they that we felt like they were going to try to run the ball on us with Tank and and with Bo, you know, and his nakeds and uh, running off of naked boots and things of that nature, and him just extending plays. We went to the four man line at that point, and then we thought that's the only way we could stop them, um, and. So we did, but you know we played a lot of zone early in the game, and we were so playing so far off, you know, and I mean they were just taking ten and twelve yard, you know, we're so far off, and then we went back to some man coverage, and and uh, D. Rob got behind us, and and uh, we had a difficult time recovering them man to man, but. I mean, to get the number of people in the box, you about got to go man to man, and we didn't early. Uh, we went into coverage, but we were so loose that they were thinking and dunking, so we went to a little bit more man coverage, man awesome. principle. Was the bishop hurt on the, on the area bishop? I yeah, Day Day uh, had a uh, uh, strain growing. And it had been kind of that growing muscle. And we, well, excuse me, he had a hamstring, not a growing. He had a hamstring. And we knew that. I mean, he had it on Monday, but it wasn't bad, you know. And then it kind of uh, uh, seemed to tighten up a little bit more as the week went on. And and uh, so we, I don't know how much he played today, but I don't know if he played at all. To be, I don't know. Yes, Sam, and you know, along with that, obviously you, had, you didn't have Catalan, you, you didn't have, let's say, you don't have Bishop, you're down three starters, and c could you go over those other two guys, what their situations are, and how tough is that? I know injuries are part of it, but to go into a game without three starters on defense, that's Well, fun. I mean, we did it last year all the time, it was just COVID, you know, maybe the other team did too, because it was COVID, you know what I mean, I don't know, but. I felt that we knew all week that Cat was not going to be able to play. So, um, you know, we, we, we were prepared for that. Uh, um, Utsi, he got hurt on Wednesday. Um, I don't know if he'll be back next week or not, but I'm, I feel pretty confident he'll be, be be back against Mississippi State. Who I should say, Day Day. Yeah, and, and then, yeah, man, well, what's his long term situation? Catalog's going to have he's going to have his shoulder worked on on Monday. Uh, you know, he had had a little bit of a tear in the front and the back that, you know, a lot of a lot of kids play with, you know, throughout the year. Um, what happened with him is is that, you know, he, then he broke his hand. And, uh, I mean, he kind of got uh, two injuries. Uh, mentally, um, you know, you could see that he wasn't playing his type of ball. He wasn't, you know – uh, making you know tackling like he had early in the year and this that and other and, and uh, I think it's time for him to get that shoulder fixed and and uh, that was a kind of a, um, a decision that that he came and talked to me and that's the one that we came up with because I think that's best for the kid uh, best for cat that he gets fixed and so that's what he's going to do on Monday. So is, is he done for the season and if yeah. so mm -hmm. I mean obviously he's one of your best players one of the best players in the country yeah. how, how does that impact the team not to have him? Well I don't know I mean you saw today uh, but there's you know I don't want him I don't want anybody to get hurt but it, injuries happen in a game and you just have to you have to replace them and get ready and that's what we tried to do today. To go for two, I think on a touchdown. Yeah, when I was up, when it when, when we scored there, yeah, when there's well, eleven, the I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, I, I say I don't know. Um, you know, at that time, it, we I knew we could get to three. Uh, it was the last play of the third quarter. Um, I didn't know. Basically, I thought, well, maybe we can get to a field goal and tie the game if we can make this two point. Um, we couldn't. I felt like we might could hold them, you know, on defense and and possibly uh, tie it with with three. You know, the chart says to go for it, go for two. Uh, just wanted to get in with them. I just wanted to get. I thought it was worth the chance to take to get within three at the t at that point in the game. What do you think about where you guys are, like the direction 
that you're going right now? Because it's two tough losses in a row. Um. I mean, uh, you mean, are we going to quit or? No, I don't mean that. I just mean like maybe the, the how the team feels right now. I mean, you, you... I think we all feel like crap, you know. I mean, I think we all do. Uh, I think we got a beat up team, to be honest with you. I think our team is beat up. And this, this bye week can't get here fast enough. But I think we've got a physically beat up team, and they're trying and this, that, and other. But if you see, you know, plays that we were making earlier in the year, we're not making them. And sometimes we are, but most of the time we're not. I just think we've got a beat up football team. We need to get ready and and play for Pine Bluff this weekend and take that week off, and we need it. But I just I think physically. Um, I mean, if you didn't think we just physically got whipped today, I mean, that's what we did on both sides of the football. And um, now that doesn't mean if they're better than you, you can't counter that with blitzes and some things of that nature and with play action and all that kind of stuff. But that's what we tried, and they were better than we were today. Sam, you know, I thought Nix kind of played out of his mind today. What did you think of Bo Nix? Say again? Bo Nix. Well, yeah, he's he's about what I thought he would be. You know, he's competitive. He's fast. Threw the long ball really well today, I thought. Uh, you know, he's hard to get on the ground. Same thing you saw on film with him, you know. They'd been beat by eight by Penn State at Penn State and been beat by Georgia beat everybody else. They've got a good football team, and we knew it coming in. We knew we was going to have to play well. But Bo made plays, extended plays like he did today, scored on the you know on the quarterback draw there at the end of the game. But he's a competitive guy, and and um, I thought he played really well. And that sequence of back-to-back -back plays, you guys went for it on fourth and didn't get it. The very next play, they hit you for 71 or whatever. Um, just. That, how, how much wind did that take out of you guys? I mean, have that, those happen bam, bam, like that, back to back? Yeah, I mean, a lot of times uh, when a big play happens on defense, the, the opposite offense goes, you know, they try to do exactly what Auburn did, you know, it's, um, you know, go, you know, go for a quick touchdown, quick strike. Uh, but yeah, I, I think you and me and everybody in the stands and our players, it took a lot out of it, you know, to, to uh, not make the fourth and then turn around and, and give up a 70 yard pass, you know. Coach, it seemed like it was a little bit tough to get traction on the ground on first down. How did you think that maybe impacted some of your, your drives? I think it always does. I mean, for us, I feel like we have most success and probably anybody, but, you know, if we get four more on first down and kind of get rolling and playing fast and all those type things, but. You know, we weren't winning first down, and and uh, I thought, you know, I thought we was in pretty good shape when we scored at half because I we had played so bad. I felt like in the first half, but yet we was only down four. And I thought, you know, but it was kind of the same thing in the second half. It was mostly miss and a lot, of, not a lot of hit on, you know, on first down, and and uh, we're we're really not built that way. I mean, we got we had to stay on schedule to have you know, have success, and we, we couldn't get on schedule on first down a lot of times. You mentioned the, the defense playing a lot better there at the start of the second half. Uh, what, was there certain adjustments made at halftime, or what do you think led to that? No, I think even later in the second quarter, we started playing a little bit better on defense and started covering them a little closer. And, and uh, you know, we got a break or two. They dropped a pass, you know, or two. Um, but I, I just think that we we'd kind of got – settled in on the game and got a little bit more confidence and we played a little more man coverage you know that 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 helped us um sam you literally got off to a great start now you're going through a rough stretch you know part of that's who, who you're playing but there's still a lot of football left yeah. Do you feel good you guys can get it going back in the right direction oh yeah yeah i, I believe that we can 
I mean, anytime you set up here in front of you guys after, yeah, that's my job. I mean, I get all that, but I mean, it ain't the funnest time in the world, you know, sit up here and do that. But I, I, I have great belief in our football team, you know, that we can win games and turn it around and and things of that nature. I'm looking forward to Monday and, and uh, you know, tomorrow and looking at the tape and Monday getting the kids in and seeing who's healthy, who's not, and and going on the next week and try to get to five and three. You know, I mean, oh, I – I, I, I'm disappointed that we lost, but but um, I feel like we've got a lot to play for, and, and we've got our bowl opportunity and things of that nature, and, and we have to play well to to get that opportunity. So I'm I, I think our kids are fine as far as their mind. Uh, we just got to fix some things, and, and that starts with me. Did you feel like you maybe turned? Th- things around when you scored at the end of the first half and then yeah. you got the first touchdown in the second mm-hmm. half? Yeah. Yeah. I thought, we were, I thought we were in good shape, even though I knew that I I felt like they were going to be able to score. You know, we was gonna have, that wasn't the end of the scoring. I felt like we'd need to score again. But we had the ball once or twice with a three-point lead and didn't score. And one of them we scored for them. You know, they a sack fumble. So, and when we had our opportunities to put pressure on them, we just never did. You know, we got up three. We had a chance to go up, you know, ten. And we just – we never did. We really never scratched the surface of that ten, you know. I think we got to the 40-yard line one time, but maybe 50. But nothing that would really put pressure on them. I have a question for Mr. Coach, you talk about the team being a little beat up. KJ ran the ball 18 times today, got sacked three times, and hit another three times. How do you feel about the number of times your quarterback got hit today? Well, he's going to get hit when he runs the ball. So, I mean, that's just kind of part of it. But the standing back in the pocket, uh, you know, we got to get open for him. I I, I didn't really feel um, – that our protection was all that bad. Uh, I felt like we we held on to the ball, waiting on routes to come open. And uh, I mean, obviously, you don't want your quarterback to get hit any. Um, but I I didn't see free hitters coming on him. You know, it was it was I felt like it was it, we, we held the ball quite a quite a while, and they're waiting for routes to come open and. And so, you know, I'm sure he'll be sore tomorrow. And, and, uh, but, and, and coming off of last week's game, too, you know, he, it took him a day or two to kind of recover off of that as well. But he wants us to use him, you know, and, and, and we're going to use him. We'll be smart with him. But I, I didn't see him take that, that hit that, you know, he didn't see coming, you know, as far as a full, full, somebody cut straight loose and and uh, he he can take a hit that's you know coming off a block you know it's those ones that are free that's those are the ones that get you on the sideline for a long time thanks, all right thanks guys